up next is Bernie Sanders. Mike is here? Okay. Um, so can you all hear me? Right, I'm tall. So, uh, is this better? Okay. Um, so, hi everybody. Um, my name is Olivia and I am a volunteer with a grassroots group called Germany for Bernie, um, along with my friend Gia, who is passing out handouts. Um, first, I just want to say thank you to Candace for inviting us and to the whole leadership for organizing this event. It's been a lot of fun and we're really honored to be here. Um, so just to be clear, we are not officially affiliated with the campaign. Um, we are just a group of very dedicated volunteers working to make Bernie Sanders the next president of the United States. Um, uh, a bit about me in my day-to-day -day life. I am a medical student in Berlin. Um, and I moved to Germany. I, I was privileged to move to Germany to avoid the incredibly high tuition fees in the US. Um, and not only that, but I also um, moved here because of the healthcare system in Germany. Um, I've never seen somebody be refused care in Germany due to lack of health insurance. And I'm pretty confident that, my, that medical professionals in the US cannot say the same thing. So let's move a little bit. Um, raise your hand if you know anybody in the US with medical debt. Raise your hand if you know anybody in the US without health insurance. Raise your hand if you know anybody in the, in the U.S. with student debt. <laughs> so not to be too dark, but we are in a time of crisis. Um, student debt has reached, oh sorry, uh, I just stay here. So student debt has reached one and a half trillion dollars. There are 27.5 million Americans living without health insurance. Um, medical debt is the number one reason for bankruptcy. Um, <coughs> The three richest individuals in the U.S. have as much money as the poorest 50% of the population. In one night, half a million people in the U.S. are homeless, and one in ten of them are veterans. Um, we have the highest incarceration rate in the world, and are currently on the brink of war with Iran. Um, there's also the global crisis of climate change, which is an existential crisis that we have to address immediately and globally. Um, in this time of crisis, we really need drastic and immediate change. Um, and Bernie Sanders not only has a vision for America that can really change these crises, um, but he also has a movement behind him to really get things done. So, just a bit about Bernie Sanders. Um, he was born in Brooklyn to a working class Jewish immigrant family. Um, most of his relatives on his father's side were actually wiped out during the Holocaust. Um, he went to study at the University of Chicago, um, where he began his lifelong commitment to the fight for justice and equality. Uh, at the University of Chicago, he was actively involved in the struggle to end segregation um, in student housing. Uh, in 1963, he attended the March on Washington, and later that year was, arrest was fined for resisting arrest while protesting segregation in Chicago public schools. Um, after graduating and moving to Vermont, um, he was elected the mayor of Burlington in 1981. In 1983, he signed a proclamation creating the first annual Pride Parade in Burlington. Um, and under his administration, Burlington made really significant strides in progressive taxation, environmental protection, affordable housing, and women's rights. In 1990, he was elected to Congress, um, and he was a Vermont school congressman. He was dubbed the Amendment King for passing more amendments than any other member of Congress. Um, using his status as an, uh, not a member of the Democratic Party to really work bipartisanly. Um, he voted against the 1996 Defense of Marriage Act and was outspoken in, in, in his opposition to the Patriot Act and the Iraq War. 
Since 2007, he's been the junior senator of Vermont, where he has worked tirelessly for working people, um, whether bipartisanly ensuring funding for the VA, um, and also introducing policies that are really widely known today, such as the Green New Deal and Medicare for All. Um, for the sake of time, I'm not going to go through this, but he's really, um, his accomplishments in the Senate and in Congress are really numerous, um, including working together with John McCain to pass five billion, to um, assure $5 billion in funding for the DBA. Um, he also passed bipartisan legislation um, in the Senate to end the Saudi-led war in Yemen. So let's talk about the issues. Um, Bernie Sanders is consistently rated the strongest candidate on issues such as healthcare, climate change, immigration, and the economy. So climate change, it's a critical existential issue. And Bernie Sanders is the climate change candidate. Um, he's the only candidate to have an A-plus rating from Greenpeace, uh, and was recently overwhelmingly endorsed by members of the Sunrise Movement. Um, his plan is to declare climate change a national emergency, and to ensure that we are relying completely on renewable energy for transportation and electricity by 2030, and a complete decarbonization by 2050. He would also end unemployment through 20 million jobs um, with a federal job guarantee, um, which is jobs in renewable energy, in construction, in manufacturing. Um, and he would also adjust, ensure a just transition for fossil fuel workers um, by ensuring five years of um, the current income, the current salary, um, also providing job training and hiring job placement and early retirement if they so choose. Um, so Medicare for all. For me, this is really personal because I'm studying medicine. What? Oh my goodness, that was 15 minutes. Ah, oh, okay, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna. Okay, so um, you can find out more about his stance on issues at BernieSanders.com/issues. So. Um, basically, how will he win? I want to just express how electable he is. His policies are incredibly popular. Um, he has the most grassroots support out of any other candidate. He is incredibly strong in swing states. Recent polling shows him winning in Wisconsin and Michigan and Florida in head-to-head -head matchups against Donald Trump. Um, he has support among independent voters. He has support among key demographics like voters of color and young voters and working class voters. Um, and in order to defeat Donald Trump, we really have to ensure voter turnout among these demographics that usually have much lower voter turnout. Um, so the best way to defeat Donald Trump is to nominate the candidate that is that excites young voters, voters of color, and independent voters. Um, yeah, please visit our website, germanyforbernie.com. Um,